So this happened yesterday, day before, where Scott Ritter was going to Russia through Istanbul. So he went to JFK airport, I believe, and he was going to fly to Istanbul and then from Istanbul go to St. Petersburg because the largest economic uh, forum in the world is happening. Makes Davos and the G7 look like fucking peons, right? Little rat rats, chihuahuas, right? Meanwhile, the true giants of the world economy, aside from the United States, are really deciding where everything's going. That's the future, by the way, right? So Scott Ritter goes to the airport, and he's about to board his plane, and three, I believe, uh, state agents, right, <laughs> fascist agents, <laughs> crazy, come in, seize his passport, and say he can't fly out, and escort him out of the airport, right? Now, a lot of you guys wouldn't have been around during the Cold War, right? But this is the Iron Curtain, Eastern Iron Curtain, curtain going up where the state is preventing citizens from leaving their countries right canada did it no freedom of mobility in canada during the lockdowns you couldn't the government didn't allow people to get on who didn't get injections prevented people from getting on planes trains uh um, buses right they prevented people from traveling. This is the next stage. Government preventing citizens who haven't committed any crimes from leaving the country. If you remember during the Cold War, there was Olympic events and sporting events and conference and stuff where all some scientists and athletes from Eastern Bloc countries, right, when they traveled outside uh, their walled in prison uh, ask for asylum right they decided not to go back because it was a prison right and a lot of these countries the eastern bloc the communist regimes held those families the people's families hostage saying if you don't come back we're gonna fuck up your family right some people said fuck it we gotta go out we can't go back right and they seek asylum. The Eastern Bloc countries prevented people from leaving their countries, right? They seized their passports. That's what the United States just did. I hope people realize what the fuck is going on. Really. I like I hope people realize what the fuck is going on. Because it's coming in fast and hard. It's coming in fast and hard hard right 